Hey everyone, it's Kylie Franceskin. Now that you're excited to book those mixers, let me give you some great ideas that I heard from March Tudor, our Gold Cannon Eastern Regional. So she has some great ideas other than, hey, do you want to have a candle party? Blah, 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 blah. She gave me some great ideas for us to share with you to get your host excited about booking a candle mixer. So one of the first ideas is, wouldn't you love to come to a redneck wine tasting? See my little apron? It's wine o'clock. Well, this is a very great idea. You simply have your host invite her um, guests to attend the redneck wine tasting and tell them to bring a bottle of wine. This makes it great because it alleviates your host from having to buy all the beverages. So you greet everybody at the door and actually tell them to bring a cheap bottle of wine because um, it's redneck wine tasting, remember? You greet all the guests at the door with a thing of aluminum foil and you wrap everybody's wine up and then you label them one, two, three, and four. Then you guys are going to have a wine tasting and you're going to vote on who brought the best wine. I would bring a small gift, maybe a little mini grapple berry with the little um, printables that we have, a little tag like that, um, congratulating them on winning the wine tasting. Now, how do you do the wine tasting? Well, you simply have red solo cups. And Tracy Gagner had a great idea. She's gonna make these wine, redneck wine, wine glasses. So she simply is going to the Dollar Tree that sells like these little candlesticks for a dollar. And then she's going to, she super glues it onto, um, hot glues it onto the red solo cup onto the base. And there you go. Now you got a redneck wine glass. Woo and she also suggests maybe you put a second one in there so they can keep this. But if you don't feel crafty, because we don't want you spending a lot of money on this, but if you don't feel crafty, just use the red solo cups. It'll be just as fun. Then you get on with the mixer. Everybody's had their wine. They might order a little bit extra candles. And Tracy's going to even step it up and do it on construction paper where she is going to hand write really redneck and dress really fun. So that ought to be cute. All right, moving on to the next party suggestion. Dress your banana. Again, the host invites everybody and tells them to bring a banana dressed up. Some people will dress them in Barbie clothes. Some people will make them into like a boat or something like that. But anyway, everybody brings a dressed up banana. You tell your host to simply get some ice cream and some toppings. And then after you guys have the contest of who has the best dressed banana, then you cut it up and have banana splits. So much fun for you and your guests. So that's a great idea. Plus they're like, why do you want me to bring a banana? It really intrigues their interest. The next one is dress your flip-flop. This is really cute. You can actually mail a flip-flop in the mail. So you go again to the Dollar Tree, somewhere really cheap. Now you gotta get new flip-flops. Don't go to the thrift store. Get new flip-flops. Actually put the addresses, address for the host and um, instructions, a little um, sticker on the back telling them what to do and what the date and the time of the party is and tell them to bring this flip-flop all decorated. And then you guys are again gonna have a contest of who had the best dressed flip-flop. Of course, it's summertime, so it's time for fun in the sun. Definitely have those fun in the sun parties. Ask people, who's got a pool? Let's have a pool party. If nobody has a pool, then you simply say, okay, I'll bring the pool. So you bring one of those blow up pools and put our feet in and have a good time, have sip on some um, frozen drinks or something fun, frozen lemonade, whatever. And the next one is maybe um, a Margaritaville party. You know, again, having margaritas and fun stuff like that. Now, Marge also had a great idea to go get little pails and actually have these themes in the little buckets. You know, get those dollar buckets. So like for the wine party, you'd have a red solo cup, maybe some grapes, maybe a little wine glass, whatever. Just something fun. Some napkins that say something about wine. Um, the next one, a Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett party has some crazy pink flamingo glasses, a little margarita glass, maybe some salt and then napkins. And of course, in all these buckets, you want to have your host information catalogs, order forms, and instructions on how to take orders. And um, then another one, the flip-flop party, just little fun stuff, just little buckets. And then while you're at your mixer, then you say to everybody, who would be interested in having a redneck wine tasting? Who would be interested in having a Margaritaville party? Who would be interested in having a flip-flop party? And then hopefully you'll get more bookings from that. Well, these are the great ideas. I thank Marge Tudor and Tracy Gagner for their awesome ideas and suggestions. And I hope you guys have fun. So get out there and let's get a mixin'.